will be Insta and then we go together. So uh, we go together in this area. And I will explain each and every program. So can we take pictures? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you tourists? Yeah, tourists. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, may I explain in brief the historical background of the organization? Yes, the branch of National Museum in Tanzania. In Tanzania, we have seven museums. We have National Museum and Dallas of Culture. We have this one in the Museum. Arusha, there is two. Arusha, the Correlation Museum and the Natural History Museum. We have also Mwari Jules Kambalaki Nyeri Museum with Yama Msoma. In presenting the first president of, of the related Bank of Tanzania, the rating Mwari Jules Kambalaki Nyeri. We have Karenga Iringa Museum uh, in Songea, representing the Chief Mkwawa, who resisted the Germans in 1891-1998 as the reason he committed suicide himself, he hanged himself. We have Songea Museum Majimaji War, and also we have the Memorial Edward Sokoine, the first Prime Minister of Tanzania. Now this is the branch of National Museum, which was established in 1966 and an international trade fair, Tan Tanganyika Africa National Union. And officially it was open to the public in 1967, we returned traditional house. But until now, we displayed 22 traditional houses, and the 21 houses represent more than 120 tribes. In the one traditional house, the collective community, that is Waswahili. So we say Waswahili is not a tribe. Waswahili is the combination of collective community people from coastal area, starting from Lam, Mombasa, Zanzibar, and those Arab who came here in coastal area to find a job. So when they came to the coastal area here at Dar es Salaam, they rented Swahili house, which is made of 60 to 12 rooms. And this house was special for renting. And this traditional house is categorized in three forms. Here we have Banda. Banda is a temple shape or V shape, the roof. And then we have Nisongi, which looks like a cone shape and a round shape. And also we have Tembe, which is flat, the roof. And they split by using crest soil mixing with cow dung, the poop of cow. Then they plaster the wall. That is like a Maasai or Gogo Central Part of Tanzania Dodoma. For Maasai, it's temporary, it's not permanent. So, because of migration. And it's constructed by women. Women are responsible to construct their house. So I'm sure when you round in this area, uh, it means you walk in Tanzania at the same time to experience different culture or different ethnic group. More than 120 tribes from the Tanzania. So you are welcome to see. Here is an exhibition which tends to show the case in the life and the experience of Tanzania's ethnic group, including more than 120 tribes but also you are going to experience different architecture of Tanzania's ethnic group and also uh, the traditional tools like uh, this one. These are trap for fish and uh, it's for fishing trap. And these are part of the support the movement of the boat. So they push water back and then they allow the boat to move forward. Here is a piece of caravage. They use it for storage of water, milk, local beer. It's kind of pumpkins, but not exactly pumpkins. You know pumpkins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is kind of pumpkins, but not exactly pumpkins. This is a handy hole for farming, and the sickle for slashing glasses in the back of tree. And there's a bell, they tie the neck of the cow. When the cow is going far away, so they can know the direction of the cow through this bell. And the ear is a motor and a pistol special for pounding cereals to make flour for the porridge or ugari. Do you eat ugari? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Here in Tanzania, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. And the, these are calabash and the container for storage cereals like maize, beans, cassava, and other stuff. Food. But these are vessel plates for serving food for a large number of people. And here is trainer for filtrating local beer juice and the mini motor for milking cows. Here is coconut shader special coconut in coconut. Most people found in coastal area here, uh, especially Zaramo, cannot eat food without mixing coconut. Mm -hmm. So coconut is very, very important to mix with food. And the container for storage, uh, that is a sack of storage pack, I used it by Kaya in my tribe. They take end of banana, then they put banana back, 
they come from the banana bag. When someone is traveling far, you travel the food or the oti or the tali. This one, traditional one. Then these are a ball, a sebi, local beer or juice or soup. And the here ceremonial artifact that is spread here. And by that time, if a chief wanted to talk with the people, he needed to have a spear in the walking stick. So he need to sit in the traditional stool like this. Then he put the spear in front of him, therefore he can speak with the people. This is to show the power of the community. And uh, these are scoops that they use for chief to fetch, uh, to, to send him local beer, to see. So when the chief is sitting and talking with the people, and then he can serve him by the local beer with someone while he's drinking uh, in, his, in his school. And this is a scenario uh, shell are used by skuma. So they put traditional medicine for cure in the Zasas Mito. And they believe that through this scenario shell, we connect with the ancestors through speech of God and let them know what is happening to their family. Here is a guy I performed during witchcraft and the system by witch doctor. Yeah. So if you go to the witch doctor and you want to solve your problem, you talk what you want from this one and then you spite it. Then you can solve, you can communicate, communicate with the speech of God and solve the problem. Yeah. Yes? Why you use this, um, which doctor term? What was the original term for the person, who, the man who played that part, the role of the, the medicine and things of that in the spiritual? Actually, uh, it was below, uh, below, uh, uh, below the colonial period. After before colonial period. And the, I know, why do you call him a witch doctor? That's a colonial word. Yeah. Why do you call him a witch doctor? What word would you would have used in the original, with the, the originally? What word? You, 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 you can't yeah. use it you, 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 usually. It was only a special man who are connected with the family speech of God. But so, what was his title? Yeah, yeah. What was he called? He wasn't called a witch doctor. What was he called? <laughs> Actually, it's an uh, age of uh, 50 years to 60 years. Then he can, people can go that side, and he, and he is known because there is a speech of God and their, their ancestors who died for a long time. So they worship them, and then they make them to be, to help them some sort of problems. So if people get some problem, they can go for asking. Uh, something to be solved by you, this witch. His name, Gina Lango, his name. His name? The name of his, his name of that one. Like, like example, medicine man. Actually, medicine man, you know the medicine, they just take different kind of uh, no. trees. Uh, I'm sure if I get Mali to translate. Yes, yes. Uno, uh, uno, uh, they call it a Uno or... In your language, what do they call which doctor? In your language, which doctor? Swahili. In Swahili. Yes. 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 Right. Swahili. Right. Yes. Right. That's not what I tried. Gina Lango. We were all trying. Okay. Okay. Which, yes, which doctor? They call it Mganga uh, Wakigeji. Uh, all of us want to know. Which doctor is very negative? Yeah, Mganga Wakigeji. <laughs> Say it again. Mganga Mganga Wakigeji. Yeah, Mganga Wakigeji. That's a witch doctor. Yeah. Mganga, Mganga. Uh, yeah, it's a doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, witch Kienyeji, witch Kienyeji. doctor. So the one who, uh, you catch it? No, you don't catch it. <laughs> you don't understand. Witch is a bad word. Witch is a bad word. That's okay. That's okay. You know, that's okay. That's okay. That's and let, let the man do his tour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, keep on no keep on going to the you don't know, well, appreciate it. We're gonna have some difference because of the language. But appreciate you. Appreciate you sharing, brother. So this uh uh marimba is a phone, by hand, HD man, and they can sing different kind of song. That song can engage in the political issues or social issues. Now here is a mask I used by Makonde during the performing traditional dance. And the, 
there is the owner of cow that they grow it during the harvesting crops or during the session ceremony before and after marriage period. And they dance by using the python, snake, big snake. And the, these are uh, bed necklaces, the wear of during performing tradition dance, but also this one, the wear on the whiskey during dancing, and the mango seed that they wear on the legs during performing traditional dance. The Swahili name for, for this dress. Swahili or bed necklace. Bed necklace. This Swahili bed necklace. Actually, uh, actually, I don't. You don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know that one. In Swahili. I don't know where in Swahili. That, in Swahili, there is this one. I know what this one and this one. They call it Shanga. 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 So the Shanga is different. Most of the Shanga, uh, this bed necklace, sometimes they can wear on this one on the neck, and the others they can wear on this area, on the whiskey. Yeah, on the whiskey. Yes. They call it Shanga. Uh, for this one, not yet. Uh, it yeah. depends on the purpose. Same, this one, what you see, the one, this one, they wear, this one, they wear on this area. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Maasai, and the, you know Maasai, they are circumcision. Yes, right. mm -hmm. And while they wear this one to stimulate the sense of, uh, to make their stimulus through this one. Mm -hmm. I think you understand me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. They call it Shanga. All right, family, so that is the Village Museum introduction. And then now we're going to actually see the lifestyle of the actual villages. And this is the beginning part of the actual tour itself. So you can come in, read through, look at the information, process it. And as our guide mentioned about the several museum, and I'm proud to say that we have four of them on the schedule. The Declaration Museum, the Natural Museum, the Village Museum, and also National Museum. And that's both the Arusha and Dar Salaam. Thank you. 